after retiring from, from Australia, I sort of, you know, wasn't really loving cricket over in Australia, but coming back here sort of, you know, hopefully, you know, even already the three days that I've, I've found here, you know, that, that passion for it, just talking about cricket and, you know, the, the boys just love it. So, um, you know, it really ignites that sort of passion for it, yeah. It was a really good win because we came from um, behind. Um, credit to how Sussex played up front. I thought they batted really well. Difficult bowling conditions, uh, very windy. Uh, but we didn't quite, I don't think we didn't quite get our partnerships right with the ball that we have done in the past and create the pressure over a long period of time. So, but they played well. I think second innings with the ball, we really sort of to reconnect how we go about trying to create pressure on opposite, opposite sides. And I thought we did that really, really well. And that's a collective. That's both in the, it's the fielding unit and the bowling unit. I thought the way Steve captain, I thought he uses, there's a lot of good cricket brains out there. Um, and I thought it, it felt like the interaction between the captain and his team was, was good. Um, we didn't miss anything, I don't think. Tactically, there was two or three things different ideas that came out and I thought we picked the right options always and that was crucial really because though we won the game we weren't overloaded on time really you know once Sussex started to get ahead of you all that time if they get if they get 60 or 70 runs ahead that you've got you've still got to get those runs so time was always going to be tight and we had to do do a lot right to get over the line in that game which we did. Lyndon did what Lyndon did a little bit last year he's, he's quite a calm and influence Lyndon even though he's a young player coming in at five you come in different situations sometimes you're in a dominant position you've got to push on and other times if you've lost some wickets to the new ball which can happen with the Duke ball especially um, you need to sort of just steady the ship and he, I think he did that he came in he's got good presence of the crease Lyndon uh, was calm, played nicely, uh, and we got through what was quite a tough period. They bowled well with the new ball, but we rebuilt, built around Steve Mullaney's um, 192, which was a fantastic innings, and made key partnerships all the way through, really. Made it one with Lyndon, then with, with, with Tom Moores, then with Liam Patterson-White, and then a very big one, I think, with Joey Everson that got us in a position where it accelerated the game because we suddenly went 150, 60 past them and that created the time of the game really to put some real pressure back on them. I thought he managed it brilliantly. He's got a lovely, um, you know, wise head on his shoulders really, Joey, for a young man. Um, and he's worked hard on his batting this winter and I think that started to show out in the game. So, you know, it, it, was, it was a lovely um, sort of confidence boost to him for the work he has done that it actually will transfer onto the field and into the game. The pitch was flat um, and you know I think a lot of the pace had gone out with it, heavy rollers had been used on it which happens a little bit in, in county cricket and so we had to come up with some good tactical thing. We're a bowler down in Luke Fletcher and I thought the way he captained, the way the bowlers delivered to the plan, we used the short ball very well um, with really I thought intelligent fields, uh, created a lot of pressure, a lot of intensity in the, in the day and that got us over the line at the end. In many ways, I give uh, Brett Hutton some credit. He led, he led the first batch of that um, uh, and with in that tactic. And, you know, Linda's a really good cricketer. You know, he's, he's gained a bit of pace, I think, now. Um, he's certainly gained more consistency as he's got older with the ball uh, and, he's, and he's played more cricket. So he, he's looking a really solid player. And Liam Patterson White deserves a special mention in some way for the, certainly the role he played with the ball in the first innings, holding up very tough end to bowl into a strong wind. Uh, and then backing up with 30 plus overs. So for a young player to get through close to 80 overs um, and create that sort of pressure on the opposition for such a long period of time was a great testament to him, his strength as a bowler, but also his quality. So to have those players coming on stream and obviously Stuart, who was a key player for us last year, certainly early season, in, I think not just the way he bowled Stuart, but the way he helped uh, a, a youngish team find their way in winning games. Every saw what Dane gave us last year. Dane's heart and soul, you know, um, on the field he gives you everything. Uh, passionate man, um, with real quality with the ball in his hand and this ability often to open sides up on flat wickets. So uh, Jimmy coming back for the third time is fantastic. I mean, Jimmy's um, he's a fantastic cricketer, uh, but he's also he's, he's a key 
part of developing players actually because his approach to it is one of the players you will look at I think certainly as a young bowler and say well actually that's how I want to go about my cricket because it's not just what he delivers on the field his discipline and how he goes about it off um, and his preparation his way he thinks about the game they're all key people to have those sort of people around. After retiring from from Australia I sort of you know wasn't really loving cricket over in Australia but coming back here sort of you know hopefully you know, even already the three days that I've, I've found here, you know, that, that passion for it, just talking about cricket and, you know, the, the boys just love it. So, um, you know, it really ignites that sort of passion for it, yeah. Obviously, when I come in a bowl, I've got a great cheer and stuff. And I think, um, you know, obviously having my brother who's played here for, for a number of years as well, I think, um, you know, probably helped, helped me as well. I think he did really well for the club. And, um, you know, I suppose in a, in a bit of a way, it's a bit of a family tradition now. I've got my mum living in Nottingham. So we're expecting another baby mid-July, so we're having the, having the baby over here and um, maybe a little boy who might play cricket for England. But um, <laughs> yeah, but who knows? Um, yeah, it's exciting time. My brother's going to come over this year and my dad. So, um, you know, it's, it's one of those years where you've got a, I've got a lot to look forward to and hopefully we can, you know, really put in some good performances on, on, the, on the pitch and, you know, have that feel like we did in 2017 where... You know, it was just a great environment. It was it was fantastic to be a part, and I suppose you know I always look back on that time as probably the most enjoyed, enjoyable I've ever sort of had it on the cricket field, um, around the dressing room, and, and the people you know working with Morsey, who's you know probably you know up there with with the best coach I've I've ever had have um, been involved with. So you know I've sort of connected back with him, and it's just you know great to be talking cricket with him. We've got Shiny, who's who I haven't had a lot to do with, but already there's been conversations around, and he's. You know, he's worked with England for, for years, so um, you know, it feels like a really good vibe around. I was keeping tabs, I thought it was looking to get, go for a draw, but then yeah, look, um, we were in trouble, I think, at four for not many, and then um, Mal with a captain's knock and, and young, young Joey making 100 um, was pretty special, and then the boys went to business on the last day and got, got the job done. You know, last year I was following pretty closely to see you know, things turn around for the for the club in the four day stuff, and um, it's exciting that you know that, that winning um, you know, that winning culture is starting to to um, you know become more um, more prevalent, and um, you know, hopefully that I can come here and um, you know help help out the, the younger guys and um, put in some good performances, and um, you know, like I said, you you play cricket to win, and, and we'll be doing trying to win the, the championship this year, and I'd love to do that. Obviously, I'm, I'm good friends with um, Fletch and Bawley, and obviously um, I've had Dane coming back again after last year, and, and Brody, who's there, Dan Christian, who have played a lot of cricket with uh, at Victoria as well. So, yeah, there's definitely some uh, familiar faces, which is, is great. Um, you know, I've always loved the, the Knott's dressing room. It's, um, you know, one of the best places you can, you can sit there and watch cricket from and, um, you know, just be involved in. So, yeah, it's lovely to be back. I didn't, didn't think I'd, <laughs> I'd get back at, at, some at one stage when all the stuff with COVID was going on and stuff, but um, you know, it's, it's great to be back here. It feels, feels like getting, getting back to home, so I'm um, looking forward to, to, to rolling out on Thursday.